it hey guys welcome back sorry for the glare we're trying to knock it out but y'all know what day it is it's iep day yes yeah, so we are one running late but um we are going to be having our iep meeting today to get baby girl ready for the next grade what, what grade are you going into next Fifth grade, y'all. Ready? Let's do this. Oh my goodness, guys. All right, so we are back. We are back home and our IEP meeting is done. How did it go? It went great as usual, and and I don't say it to rub it in, guys. I really feel blessed. I feel blessed that um, the school that my daughter has been at since first grade has really just, it's been beautiful. Like, the relationships that I've been able to create and, um, and foster have really just been beautiful that... You know, with all of the horrors that I hear and read about, you know, IEP meetings and getting the services you need for your kids, like, we have really, as a family, been blessed by our school, by the teachers. And the teacher that she has now, she's had for two and a half years, and she'll have the same teacher next year, which is very rare to have um, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, the exact same teacher. And so, um, I'm grateful. Was it second grade? No, third grade. I'm losing. I don't even remember. Third, fourth, and fifth grade. Okay, so, so it's a year and a half. Excuse me, not two years, two and a half years, but a year and a half. We've had the same teacher. And, um, and I'm grateful because we've just developed. A wonderful relationship and I love her leadership in this IEP process so with all that being said and all of my mommy brain trying to get things um, in order I do have some stuff I have my IEP papers in front of me so if you wonder what I'm looking down at, I'm looking down at my papers so you know some of the things that in the past with my daughter that she was struggling with. Um, one is um, communication, you know, and just being able to hold a conversation and it's something that she has grown in um, in terms of her skill set over time. And also, you know, in terms of her comprehension, does she understand what you're saying? And not only that, but when she is reading text, whether it's um, in language arts or in her reading class, or even if it's a math problem, does she comprehend the words that are in front of her? And so that's something that she will continue to need to grow in. And so we're going to be focusing on that um, as we finish out this current IEP and move into the next IEP and so um she has made progress but it has not she has not gotten to the level where they consider that she has mastered those areas and so she's she's growing in her reading she's growing in her writing but her there's several areas in her writing that's still very weak and so again, that's going to be another area that we are going to continue to push to help her grow um, in those areas because even though she has progressed, she is a little ways off from hitting that mastered level. And so those are things like um, punctuation, capitalization you know word spacing is she writing on the lines is she writing in between the lines is there consistency in all of these areas and she still hasn't yet mastered that and so again we're going to continue to work on that in terms of you know social emotional um standards she's getting better 
she's not having an outburst like she used to have. Um, she is learning how to self calm. She's learning how to talk through her emotions. She's learning how to be independent. And so she can go and have, you know, play time with her classmates. So she can go and she can have, get herself ready for dismissal, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, she's still struggling with getting herself settled and organized at the beginning of the day. And so those are things that we are going to continue to um, work on. She's getting better, but she has not mastered. You know, in terms of math, again, there are things that she's getting better, but she has not mastered. But the overall feel for this, the current IEP is that she has made so much progress. And even the stuff that she has not mastered, she... Oh, it's so close. It's so close. So I'm super excited. This mama is excited. And so, you know, we have a lot of things that we want to continue to work with her on. And I'm grateful that, you know, um, she can get it in the least restrictive environment. You know, I'm learning all the terminology, even though we've been through this process. Sometimes my brain just goes into mommy mode and it turns into mush but she's doing well she's in gen ed math this year which is her first year in gen ed math and she's doing so well and um even though she has her struggles like she's doing it y'all she's doing it she's doing gen ed math and i am so proud of my baby girl you know, and so can she be in a gen ed environment the whole school day? No, she's not there. She's not even close to being there. But what did I say? We are making progress. And I'm so proud of my baby girl because, you know, if we continue on this trajectory, she she can. You know, it might take some time. It might not be till 11th or 12th grade, but she can get there. And we're going to keep working on it, you know, because, you know, I believe in her. I believe she can get there. And I, I just do, you know. And so that's kind of where we're at. We're growing. We still have progress to make, but so much progress has been made. I love her teacher. I love the staff. I love the administration at the school. Just so blessed to have a core group that believes in her that works with me and my husband to give us what the tools that we need to help her succeed. And it really is a team effort. And I'm glad we have this team together. So as you are moving into the IEP um, season, y'all know what I'm gonna tell you. Work as a team. You have a common goal for the success of your child slash children. Do what you can, um, do your best, you know, fight for what you need to fight for. But remember, you're on the same side, you know. And so I wish you guys the best and many blessings during this IEP season, guys. And y'all know the drill. We'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye.